We're sampling everything. Um, every fountain, every bubbler, um, the uh, sinks, the nurses uh, station, um, to try to really give them a comprehensive overview of the situation in that school. And uh, these schools are, they have problems and, uh, and I think the, uh, the public is now aware of it. Since Flint, we've done over 50,000 lead in drinking water samples um, that we would have never done before. Okay. The infrastructure in New Jersey is bad. It's old. And if you were using pipes and the, and the facility was built before 1986, the solder that was used has a tendency to leach into the water. And if that water is left standing and not flushed, uh, you could have a, a, a situation where you're really drinking high levels of lead in the drinking water. We're doing uh, about 200 samples, analyzing 200 lead samples a day. It's a six minute analysis. It's done by ICPMS, which is inductively coupled plasma mass spectroscopy. And uh, that instrument can see down to one part per billion. Here's an example of a sample that was recently collected from a school in New Jersey. And as you can see on the bottom, um, that's not good. The limit for lead in drinking water is 15.5 parts per billion. And this was a sample that came in at about 300 parts per billion. Uh, as one legislator said, uh, I overheard um, him saying, if you have a choice of paying a teacher or testing the drinking water, you're going to pay your teachers. We can't have our children drinking lead, uh, that's uh, water that's contaminated with lead.